Right, today I'm going to get on the simulator and look at gapping. I want to see how far all my lines go and if they're what I think they are, um, if I've got any gaps anywhere. Um, so I'm going to hit every single plumb of the bag and then let's look at the data and see how it turns out. Right, so I've just been looking at uh, my yardages. I think it's a good idea for any of you out there that don't really know how far you hit it. We think you know and you want to check. Um, come into the studio and have a little look today. Now, I haven't done this for a long time, so I haven't really been playing and practicing much the last year or two, so I thought it was a good exercise for me to do as well. Um, a little bit of out of order. You can see I started with my 60 degree wedge at 84 yards, which I was relatively happy with. Then we go up to sand wedge 106, gap wedge 120, pitch wedge 130, etc. You can see here I've got a bit had a bit of discrepancy with my nine iron, so I want to go back and have another go. That should be sort of one high 140s, and I hit one 154, which is probably as you can see too close to my uh, eight iron, which is 160. So I want to go back and have a look at that. Um, and then I hit some very good seven irons as well, so 180. So a 20 yard gap there. It's probably a bit too much. So. Again, a little bit rusty, so uh, I'll go back and do this a few more times to get it really uh, dialed in. But what this really shows is, you know, I know how far I carry a ball. Um, most people come in here and uh, they think they maybe hit a 7 iron 150, but actually in reality they're carrying at about 135, and if the ground's hard it might bounce onto the front edge of the green and they think they hit it 150. So if we've got to carry something, um, a hazard, then we really need to know, okay, well, if I've got 150 carry... Can I get my seven iron there or is it a six iron? So coming into the studio and really checking that. And also, you know, I've got nice neat gaps between most of my clubs um, up to my three iron at 219. So I'm um, quite happy with that. What we normally find with amateurs is, you know, the longer the iron, the harder it is to get it airborne and harder to get the carry. So if you've still got three, four, five iron in your bag and then don't really know how far they go, are they still performing as well as your six or seven iron? Because normally, We'll get up to about six or five iron, have a nice little gap, 10 yards. Um, but then when we get to the three, four, five iron, it levels off and you're not hitting it any further. So it might be time for a uh, hybrid or a fairway wood in a bag. Um, and at the other end, if you've got um, you know three wedges that are all doing about the same job, you know, all the distances are too close together. That's something we want to address as well. So come in to the, uh, get yourself booked in when you're ready. And uh, we can go through the gapping just like I've done and we can really learn a lot about your game and hopefully improve your golf all right take it bye